won't. These these simp platforms always want to make it like the man has the problem. And that's a problem because it's creating a bunch of basket case women who post these things and say, hey, man, you need to be like this. You need to be the fairy tale. And that's why I played the video at the beginning of the show. Because that's one way women like to emasculate men by trying to have them be the simps that they subscribe to. These simps are affecting women's relationship and, and mental health to where they can't even exist in a relationship. They're too toxic. They're too... They, they want their man to walk on too many eggshells. They want their man to be this fairy tale man and not a real person. They want their man to accept all of these things that real manhood doesn't accept. I dare somebody to challenge it. I dare somebody to, if anybody ever wants to come on the show, feel free. If you want to come on a future show, Email me, email Moxie. There's so many simps I could react to, but I got business to take care of. I'll probably do some videos later. We're only going to be here for a couple more minutes. Let's do another reset. There's too much Moxie show. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Uh, hit us up, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. We broadcast on, on, on all of those platforms. Ladies, if you really want a man, if you really don't want to keep on defaulting to men that's womanizers or men that only see you as temporary, unsubscribe from these simps. I mean, yeah, you might you might wind up getting a simp, but there's there's not enough simps to go around. That's one of my pet peeves, though, is a woman that will be dating or married are married to some kind of simp man who just sits there in a relationship docile while she does whatever she wants with her attitude and, and poor spirit and blah, blah, blah. And then she thinks that that's how life is supposed to be. She thinks she could just go talk to people any old type of way because she talks to her husband any old, any type of way. Hey, if some of you, some of you women might land a simp, but there's not enough simps to go around. There's not enough. So if you want to be available to a broader spectrum of men who will love you and respect you and honor you, they might challenge you. Uh, they, they will challenge you because that's what a man does. You know, that's what women and men are for, to challenge each other objectively and in equity. Now, if you want a real relationship, unsubscribe from the simps. Stop trying to have a man be a simp. Stop trying to have a man take care of your adult responsibilities. Stop trying to have a man trying to fix what you need to fix before you get into a relationship. Stop trying to have a man be a crutch for it. Um, stop listening to all these simps. And once again, I'll this guy, ultra simp. His crew is good. Why is it? Why is it that? I'm pretty sure we see so many women on our social media post that guy right there. But why is it that the crew that guy's a part of, the rest of his crew talks about what men and women need to do for each other in equity. But for some reason, that guy right there is the only one on that crew that I've seen. Uh, what's it called? The, the um, crew season? The, the Trillac? whatever his name is, why is he the only one on there simping? So, hey, you heard it here. Get out the matrix, the relationship matrix. Unsubscribe from all of these falsehoods. Unsubscribe from these simps. I'm willing to talk to anybody about it. I'm telling you, the, the 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 more just about every woman I know that's subscribing to these simps and posting these simps that they got some kind of kind of kind of mental issue, 
some relationship issue of entitlement that they don't want to get over that they feel as though they don't have to improve themselves because these simps are validating them and they continue to turn into a basket case more and more and more and more and they'll never um get out of the single bitter and lonely club they'll never get out of the 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 tiredness i feel for the women that's that's going through that because they're tired they want actual good and healthy relationship but what what you want you have to work for what you want you have to research for if you research and and realize that those guys are simping and that you don't need to be in a relationship with a simp and that the more you try to look for a simp, that the more of a womanizer you'll land because they'll tell you what you want to hear. The more you have a hard time um, being able to coexist with the man's leadership because you're doing toxic self-love and making it all about you, big eyes, little yous. You're not trained to be a relationship. You're not training to be in a relationship. The more you're going to suffer. If you really want the suffering to end, you'll do what it takes for the suffering to end. That's how it is with a doctor. A doctor will give you options. If you want the suffering to end, do this. Take this. Stay off of this. Don't do this activity or whatever. But you have some people, they don't care. Oh, um, okay, doc, cool, doc, cool. And then they'll go back and do what they want to do. They'll be on that broken leg when they're not supposed to be on that broken leg. Won't allow it to heal right. And I have another series about healing right and healing properly that uh, we did in the past with a with a licensed therapist. If you if if you don't allow yourself to heal right and heal properly. You're just going to cause infection. And listening to a lot of these simps and simp preachers that don't talk in equity, it's it's creating infection in your mind, infection in your mental health. 